what is up everyone welcome back to our channel inside python and this is the second episode of our kiwi development series so in the previous video we talked about how to download kiwi install kiwi etc etc and even we almost created this program which you are seeing on your screen right now it is a very basic program hello world in which we switch the text hello world to inside python just let me run for you so it is like this we displayed a label on our GUI and we talked about some of the specialities of Kiwi and what we're gonna learn next in the series so now in in this video we're gonna be moving on to some advanced concepts so we're gonna be discussing more about labels we're gonna be discussing about buttons we're gonna be discussing about text inputs and we're gonna be discussing about GUI layouts now main thing here is GUI layouts now what, so what does GUI layouts do GUI layouts uh, uh, basically just provide a layout to fit your widgets into your GUI to incorporate your widgets in your GUI so that's how it works we will talk about more on this later in this video so what I'm planning to do first let me show you that through paint okay so just let me open that so here it is paint so I'm thinking of creating a GUI uh, suppose this is our GUI in which there will be a column for name a column for email and a button in between okay so suppose here will be label and uh, here will be entry box here will be label here will be entry box and this will be a button submit button this will have name and email what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be taking our client's username and email uh, uh, not exactly email password the username and password and then we're going to be creating a login button so something like that we're going to be moving to some perform some functionalities in it later on in this series but first of all for just display so let's see how it works so I don't want to save that okay so what we're gonna do is first of all you want to import some things from kiwi.uix.text input uh, say sorry I think I made a mistake it's from not form from kiwi.uix.text input import text input and from kiwi.uix.button button import button and from kiwi.uix. Uh, I think it is grid layout we're gonna be focusing on grid layout here I will be talking about what it is and what it is so we imported three things text input button grid layout and we already have label and the app class now now delete this uh, line we don't need it line now we're gonna be creating a new class for our layout so <coughs> how do we create it suppose create class my grid which will inherit from grid layout okay grid layout now suppose if you don't know what is this kind of programming it is object oriented programming there is a tutorial link in the description you can check it out if you don't know any of this so my grid will inherit from the grid layout now we're going to moving on to some initializations but before that i want to show you that how does grid layout works so for that again i want you i want to open my paint so let me just uh, do this and suppose this is our GUI and uh, what does grid layout do is it divides it into columns and rows so suppose this suppose I want two columns so I will specify cause equals to two and then it will give me two columns in the GUI now how are rows added into GUI suppose I added a label of username here and then a text input in the coding now how does that work the text input will come onto this now if this is a bit messy so I will just show you by programming how to do it but first of all we need to do some initialization so define here uh, in it and this in it will take argument as keywords now what uh, sorry I think it is one star uh, yeah I think it is one star now what is this keywords now keyword specify I think it is two stars okay now keyword specify that uh, uh, that uh, this function can take variable number of keyword arguments so that is only now in this we need to def we need to call the super constructor so now what is this super constructor because we don't create we haven't created a function like this anywhere so this is inherited from inherited from the grid layout function uh, remember I told about inheritance uh, we'll talk about that later if you have not the previous video watch this video right now there uh, press that i button and go to the video otherwise you won't i think you will be able to get it but just in case so now you will be have a question that why does we have to define the init here and not here so i don't have any answer for that it is 
it is what it is so in super we'll have two arguments as my grid comma self dot in it we're going to be initializing this class only and this in it will have again these keywords uh, this in it will have two styles and keywords so this is what it is we just now what we did we initialized an instance of the grid layout class so just just do that okay so now we have to specify a number of columns so right here self dot calls self dot calls okay sorry i don't know what happened so self dot calls equals to now you might be getting what is this calls this calls is column so we want two columns okay the left side will contain all the labels and the right side will contain all the text inputs so just like that now i want now here i am writing a new function as self dot add widget now whenever you want to display a widget on your gui you need to do this now this add widget will have a parameter as widget you can see here so we'll write here label label and in label we will write uh, say text equals to now what text we want to do is username and then colon and this okay now we did that now we need to use text input now we want to give the opportunity to our user to enter into our gui so how do we do that so first of all you need to create a variable to hold the data which will get into that text input so i'm creating a variable as usr nm uh, usr or say just usr so this will have the username so username equals to text input okay the text input class we just uh, imported so this will have uh, now it generally doesn't requires any arguments to be put in you just need to write here multi lines uh, multi line uh, equals to false okay this will what we will do it is a simple easy the multi lines are uh, true by default so we did it false because we don't need any extra lines of uh, filling up our gui so now uh, we have created a text input widget now we need to add it to screen how do we do that self dot add widget and in this right self dot usr as simple as that now we will do the same for the email thing uh, uh, not email the password so just copy this up uh, and just paste it so self dot add widget instead of username we will type a password okay so i am naming the variable as p a s s w okay text input multi line equals to false add widget self dot p a s s w okay so i think we will be able to show something up on the screen so let's try to run it okay no window is created terminating application run so why is it happening that no window is being creating i think we did something wrong here okay so i think i figured out the problem the problem is that even though we have created a class here but we haven't defined anything in the return of the build method which runs our which creates the gui suppose so now we need to return the migrate class okay we're not uh, defining an instant we're just returning the class you can do that in object oriented programming so let's try to run it okay so we got our gui is username you can and you can enter here suppose i'm writing inside python okay sorry inside python uh, leave it and you can write here password now now i'm going to show you one thing suppose if you resize it gets automatically resized according to the screen size that is a speciality of kiwi okay none of the other gui applications do that that's why you can deploy it or deploy it over the android so now we need a button here so let's define the button uh, right here self dot uh, i think add widget and in button button uh, uh create this and write here text equals to say login okay so i will be writing it like that self equals to login and self dot uh, say what should we write here uh okay okay i think i think that would be sufficient so let's try to run it so we got a login button over here now you can also bind this up to a uh, to a function i will be showing you soon enough but what if i wanted this button to be in the center it is coming in the left i want this to be in this this uh i want to this be in center now how to do that so now for to do that we need another grid layout class within this grid layout class so i will be showing you with the paint so just let me 
wait okay so wait so suppose uh, this is our GUI so suppose we created a grid layout class here in which we have a label here as username the text input uh, the label here as uh, the password and the text input now we create a, another grid layout and in this we write button in this we declare our button so i think we will be get, we will be able to get it into between so that's how it works okay so how to do that how to do that so suppose we already created a cell dot calls equals to do that is this is our parent grid layout class you can see that now in this grid layout class what i want to do is i want to create a new grid layout instance so how to do that simple suppose i will write here or say 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 what should i write here what should i name the grid layout okay suppose i will write in a grid okay if i write here in a grid so I think that would be able to work. Uh, inner grid equals to grid layout and this. Uh, and right here, excuse me, right here, self dot inner grid because uh, you know we're working in the class, so self is necessary. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be replacing this self dot calls to self dot inner, uh, sorry, inner underscore grid dot calls, dot calls. Okay, so now the column of the inner grid class is two. So now what about the outer grid? So let's get me back to the paint here again. So suppose we created a GUI in which we created a grid layout as like this. And in this whole grid layout, we create only a button. And in this again, in this grid layout, we create another grid layout in which we will have our other widgets, the labels and text inputs. So that's how it works. So right now, what the, sorry, the inner grid will be this, uh, this, uh, this grid layout. Okay. So let me just go back onto the coding right now. So the self inner grids have two. So now what you're going to do is you just need to replace these add widget to self dot inner grid add widget. So I, I will just, oh shit, sorry. I will just copy it down and I will just paste it into self dot inner grid dot add widget. And again, this in the add widget, I know that there is some better way to do that, but I'm doing it like this. No problem. And we will write here again dot grid. Okay. So now let's try to run it. Okay, so we are just displaying login. Now, why is it happening? Because we haven't added the grid layout widget to our uh, to our parent grid layout widget. So, how to do that? Write your self dot uh, self dot uh, say 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 add widget, and in that add widget, one what I want to do is self dot uh, inner grid. Okay, so that's how it works. So, if I run it okay again it is not showing i know that uh, what is a problem over here uh, i want to just uh, create a new column here self.calls now this are these are the columns of the parent widget so write here self.calls equals to one so we only need the one uh, so let's try to run it again okay so here we get uh, our gui it has a username and the password and the login button in the center suppose if i write here uh, say right here if i write here then i log in so nothing hap nothing is happening right now nothing is happening right now even i am clipping uh, clicking this button so how to bind a function to this button uh, it is called binding in kiwi it is called whether or not i don't know so let's create a function for our button login so we will define a function here in the class we have to define sorry i forgot so def now function say supposed uh, say login only uh, uh, D E F login and it will have self and it will also have a, a new parameter as instance so this parameter is needed here to in order to bind this function to button because the button will automatically send the instance to this login button okay so now in this what we're going to do is we're going to be changing the text now i don't think that is possible so we're going to be printing uh, on our console that uh, login successful say login successful so now if i try to run it uh, so i will be running right now so just uh, just put this up now if i click this login button i'm clicking it or not 
okay so even i have created the function i have not binded it so how to bind that right here so i think i need to do something with here okay so what we have to do we are going to be displaying it in the button so right here b u t o n uh, i know that it is a wrong spelling but just stay on with me so text equals to say login uh, right here self dot button self dot button now right here self dot button dot bind okay dot bind and in this we have a parameter as on release uh, re r e a wait a second release i think that is oh, or say suppose on press that is much more easier on press we will write login uh, i think it would be self dot login self dot login and add this button to our widget so self dot add widget and write uh, SELF dot B U T O N. Now just run it. Okay, stop and rerun. Okay, so if I press this login button, so as you can see, yes, login successful. So it is like really good. And suppose if you haven't watched the previous video, there is a link popping up right on your screen. Just watch that video. And uh, also there are a link to various. Uh, uh, a series in the description also check them out and uh, and follow us on our instagram page the link will be down in the description and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more of such content and don't forget to hit that uh, bell icon for and don't forget to hit that bell icon and uh, yeah thanks for watching our video